Good morning. Thank you for joining us for Space Station Live from the Mission Control Center located at the Johnson Space Center in Houston, Texas. Our second shift for the flight control team is on duty, known as Orbit 2. This team works with the crew during the second half of the crew day, starting just before the midday meal for the station crew. Today, leading that team is Flight Director Emily Nelson. She's being assisted by astronaut Serena Onan, who's re representing the crew office at the Capcom console in this view. Her voice is the one that you hear most of the time dialoguing with the crew through the afternoon of their crew day. On board, we have the Expedition 35 crew of NASA astronauts Tom Marshburn and Chris Cassidy, joined by Canadian Space Agency astronaut Chris Hadfield, who's serving as the Expedition Commander, and cosmonauts Alexander Mazurkin, Pavel Vinogradov, and Roman Romanenko. The crew work week is underway with the crew now in the early afternoon of their crew day. They woke at 1 a.m. Central Time. The first task of the day for Commander Chris Hadfield and Flight Engineer Tom Marshburn were reaction self-test drills. This is a portable test on board that helps to measure and study uh, cr crew fatigue experience during long-duration space flights. They also took sample collections and measurements as part of the Pro-K metabolism study. All of the crew members then had some off-duty time for hygiene and breakfast before their start of the crew day with a daily planning conference tag-up with all of their su supporting flight control centers. Their morning also included a vehicle inspection and rebooting of laptops for, com for Commander Chris Hadfield. His first activities included a photography of some experiment operations in the Human Research Facility. He's also participating in the Circadian Rhythms experiment. He also had exercise sessions and potable water collections for in-flight chemical and microbial analysis and experiment work on the binary colloid alloy test. NASA astronaut Tom Marshburn also had experiment work performing blood draws also for the human research facility and a big chunk of his day focused on robotic, sorry, robonaut oper robonaut operations. In this case, he was assisted by Chris Cassidy to don a special helmet and glove that will help accommodate telerobotic operations in the future by controlling, using those special uh, devices, Marshburn was able to control Robonaut's head and hand movements using his telerobotics gear. That capability will allow the astronauts to make real-time decisions and control Robonaut's actions in the future. Meanwhile, cosmonauts Pavel Vinogradov and Roman Romanenko were preparing for spacewalking activities, gathering tools and recharging the batteries in their Orlan spacesuits for their upcoming spacewalk. That EVA, or extravehicular activity, is planned for April 19th and will focus on deployment and retrieval of experiments on the Russian segment and the replacement of a retro reflector navigation aid on the aft port of the Zvezda service module. That will be used for the unpiloted European Space Agency's Albert Einstein automated transfer vehicle when it approaches for automated docking to the space station in June. Now in the mid-afternoon of the crew day, the uh, crew members are continuing with their afternoon tasks. Tom Marshburn uh, will have all of his exercise sessions this afternoon, including exercise on the treadmill as well as the cycle ergometer. He'll also have some time allocated for journal entries, which is part of an ongoing study for long-duration crew members. Chris Cassidy will perform water sample analysis and also some other work on the water reclamation system and sample collections for the human research facility. Commander Chris Hadfield will also perform water sample analysis as well as some adjustments to the video camera assembly on board. He'll also collect uh, samples for the energy experiment, which is another ongoing research study for long duration crew members. It's being conducted by the European Space Agency to measure changes in the energy balances energy balances of crew members, rather, and also their adaptations to total energy expenditure. The cosmonauts will continue their afternoon activities with battery operations for their Orlan spacesuits, as well as some transfer activities from the Progress cargo craft. They will close out their evening with some personal time and their evening meal. Their crew sleep is scheduled for 4.30 p.m. Central Time. 